Hey there. Welcome to another Wheeling It video and today we are going to talk about tow bars. In fact we're going to talk about specifically the Roadmaster Sterling tow bar. Uh, we are not new to towing. We have been towing a vehicle behind our RV for the past uh, almost eight years now mm -hmm. and we've always had a Roadmaster. Um, and those of you that follow the blog will know that last year we had a towing accident. Um, what happened was somebody pulled the pins on our tow bar. Uh, we have changed procedures since then, but somebody pulled the pins and our car smashed into the back of our RV. It was a pretty scary time. Yeah, very scary. And, but one of the things that stuck with us was actually I contacted Roadmaster when it happened. They were very responsive. They really helped us analyze what happened, if there's anything wrong with the tow bar and so forth. Um, and so their customer service was just outstanding. Um, and also part of what happened from that is they gave us the opportunity to test and review one of their new tow bars. So given that we had such a great experience, we jumped on the opportunity. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about tow bars and specifically what our experience has been with the Sterling tow bar over the past four months. So yeah, let's talk a bit about tow bars. Yeah, so let's <laughs> towing first. Let's talk towing. about towing. So, towing. Uh, behind an RV, there's basically two ways, two major ways to tow your car, either on a dolly, that's where two wheels are, um, you know, raised up on this uh, little dolly and the back wheels are on the, on the road and you tow that way. Uh, and then there's flat towing or towing four down. Uh, where basically you just tow the car behind you in neutral. Um, and that's what we chose from the beginning. We bought our car specifically so we could flat tow it. And um, we wouldn't have it any other way. We think it's the easiest and the best way. Um, now, not all models of cars are able to be flat towed um, out of the factory. You can make transmission modifications. Um, so that's, you know, that's one thing to look out for. But we, we think it's the easiest way, so that's all, that's all we're going to talk about here. Yeah, I mean, it, whenever you come to camp, you can just, you don't have any extra gear, that you have gear to, move. to store. And when you hook and unhook, it's basically just hooking up the car and you go. So, yeah, we're big fans of flat towing. Yeah, and the other thing we're not going to touch upon, but we think is, es <laughs> is essential, is having a supplemental brake system. Yes. So, um, your car, if you don't have any other, it's in neutral, so it doesn't have any braking if you don't do anything uh, when you're behind your RV. And that's okay most of the time, uh, but in emergency situations where you need a fast stop, having a, an extra brake, a supplemental braking system, really helps a lot. And initially, since the beginning, we chose the US Gear uh, tow brake system, and we've had it since the beginning, and it Love works it. great, and we will always have it. Um, on and we wouldn't have it any other way it helps stop the rv in much shorter distance than when we don't have it connected so we think it's essential i'm not going to talk about it <laughs> and we'll just talk about the tow bars so basically when it comes to tow bars um the kind of flat tow the kind that we use uh all modern tow bars are very similar these days they basically uh are two arms that come out yeah, it's a little A-frame that comes out. The two arms can move individually. They attach to your car, your car attaches, and then you pull your car. Um, and there's two guys, pretty much two big guys in the RV industry. There's Blue Ox and there's Roadmaster. And they make products with very similar features. And I honestly don't think you can go wrong with either one. I mean, you'll, you'll hear- Yeah, you'll hear RVers who really prefer one over the other. Um, for whatever reason, uh, we chose Roadmaster to begin with, and like I said, our customer service experience just means that we are big fans now. So we're sticking with Roadmaster as we go forward. Um, but let's uh, let's go have a look at our actual bar. We'll we'll do a little video of when we received our bar. We'll do a little comparison of the old bar versus the new bar, mm -hmm. um, and also hooking and unhooking. Exciting stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, un uninstallation of the old one. Installation oh yeah, uninstallation. Of the new one, installation. Hooking up the car. Yeah. And then a little test video of the test. Yeah, a little test, test to actually show how it drives. So uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Bye. 
quick little thing before we move on. I do want to give a shout out to our friends and fellow RVers, the RV Geeks. Um, they have already done a bunch of videos on Roadmaster tow bars. So if you want to learn about the tow bars or a little more about towing or RV stuff in general, uh, check out their channel. We just received our new tow bar from Roadmaster. <laughs> and I'm having Paul do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> so it comes in a, uh, in a big box like this um, through UPS ground, I believe. It took us about, what, five to seven days to get it? Yep. And um, what, is the, uh, what is the weight on, on the box, sweetie, can you see? The other side, yeah, there. 65 pounds is what the whole thing weighed. So Paul is just going to open it up here. So you can see our beautiful new tow bar. Sterling, Roadmaster Sterling. Roadmaster Sterling. Huh? Comes nicely packed. Oh, look at that. Oh, that does look nice. Aluminum instead of steel. Yeah. And it's rated for 8,000 pounds instead of 6,000 as compared to our Falcon altering tow bar that we've had for eight years, almost eight years. And they put the, uh, the blue ox ends on the bar for us. This is not the typical Roadmaster end and that's because we have a Blue Ox base plate on our car. So we have those particular ends on the tow bar. So a little before video, uh, Paul's just taking off the old tow bar. Um, we have a, a locking pin that attaches it to the RV and so he's just taking that out. It's been a while since that's been off the RV. Oh that's true not that long and once he gets that out it'll just be a question of basically pulling out the old tow bar. Okay, we have our two tow bars here for comparison. This is our old um, Falcon All Terrain tow bar. This is the new uh, Sterling All Terrain tow bar. Uh, the biggest difference is probably this is steel and this is aluminum. In fact, it's uh, aircraft, aircraft grade 6061 T6 with aluminum. Um, or aluminium, depending on where you come from, which is really cool from a material science perspective. Um, and because of its eggshell des design, it has this eggshell design, it is actually able to tow more, even though it is slightly lighter. So this can handle 6,000 pounds of towing. This can handle 8,000 pounds of towing. Um, our CRV is only what, 3,500 pounds? 3,500. Yeah. So, I mean, for us, it really doesn't matter, but for somebody that's towing something heavier, that's important. Um, start at this end. Uh, it's basically a two inch uh, receiver, receiver hitch. Receiver hitch. Um, now the new uh, tow bar comes with uh, this kind of clipping, uh, uh, clipping hitch uh, lock pin. pin. And we are gonna use our old a locking pin. Um, this is something I talked about a little bit in uh, the 
blog post when we had the accident is that we want locking pins everywhere. We already had a locking pin on the receiver side. We have also now bought locking pins for the other side, and I'll show you that. Um, and kind of moving down, now one thing you'll notice is this is the uh, brake cable. Um, and all the cables are kind of included here. They actually run through these channels underneath the bar. In our old bar, uh, we had channels for just the holding cables, safety but cables. the safety cables, but not for the brake cables. So that's one difference between the old and the new. Everything is integrated here, which is kind of nice. It means that you basically uh, don't have to mess with cables kind of folding over your bar. Um, you just, all the cables are integrated, you just hook them up and you're done. So I like that feature of the new bar. Um, both the old and the new bar have quick safety, quick releases here. Um, they're non-binding bars, and when you stop, you simply pull this and it releases everything. Uh, obviously, we haven't tried this one yet, but the old one worked great, so I have, I'm absolutely sure the new one will work fine. Um, as I pointed out when we were unpacking, uh, we have the blue ox ends on the bar. So uh, these are not, if you had a Roadmaster a base plate, you would have the Roadmaster ends. These are the Blue Ox ends. Um, they come with this type of pin. This is the standard pin. And again, when we went through our accident, this is the main thing that we changed. Uh, this can easily be pulled. Somebody just pulls this out, the pin can come out. So we are now using locking pins instead. And this is what we will be using at the end of our tow bar here. We have two of those. So that kind of gives you a, an overview of difference between old and new. So we come to the installation part. And of course, uh, I'm letting uh, my lovely man do all the hard work while I just stand here and film. And basically, it's pretty simple. Just put it into the receiving hitch and uh, put in the hitch lock and uh, which is already done <laughs> so uh, Paul's just gonna put in the other part of the hitch lock the locking pin and that's it she's installed I'm ready to hook up and go all right, this is the final piece, just installing the safety cables. Uh, these safety cables are a little bit longer and a little more flexible than the ones on the previous uh, tow bar, the all-terrain, so I like that. Uh, black is better than blue, too. <laughs> <laughs> Less dirt. Um, the, just the important thing here is to cross the safety cables. Uh, so the one on my right side will go to the left side underneath. By crossing them, it prevents what's called tent pulling of the tow bar, just in case the tow bar comes out of the receiver hitch. Um, so just do that, it's relatively easy. So just to make sure, we want this one to the left, this goes to the right, so that goes there. Okay, and this one underneath or over, doesn't matter. I have room here, underneath. That's it, installed. So just showing you how quick and easy this is to hook up. Um, we just drove the car to within spitting distance of the RV and then Paul takes one side of the bar, puts it through the connector, puts in our locking pins and make sure that everything's secure by wobbling it around just to make sure those locking pins are fully secure. And then hook up the safety cable. So using the quick link. Usually we do the, this together, so usually, usually there's two of us. So uh, poor Paul is taking him twice as long as he usually does. So uh, one other little tip is we actually put the pins on the inside and secure them on the outside. Um, we base this off, again, our accident because somebody uh, 
actually pointed out that the pins tend to work themselves outwards rather than inwards. So if anything does happen, actually attaching them this way around is a slightly better option. So again, the locking pin is in place now. And we always double check that. We do double, triple check on everything. Safety cable. And then the only other thing we have to hook up is the brake cable. So that goes into the one side of the car. We have the US gear brake system, so we don't have to set up anything inside the car. We just hook up the cable and we're good to go on that side and also into the other side. Oh, we do also have one more hookup to do, which is the breakaway cable. So hook that up on the RV side. So all the electronics should be hooked up now. And then the, uh, the very last thing we hook up is the breakaway cable. This is the emergency breakaway. Basically, if uh, something should happen to the car and it should completely break away from the RV, this will pull and the car will stop. Yeah, the vacuum pump engages and the car stops. So that's it, that's our car hooked up. We will take the CRV, we'll pull her back and take her through the gears, which is part of the procedure for flat towing this model of Honda CRV. Um, but this is how it looks. This is the car hooked up. All good to go. And here we see the tow bar in action, pulls, turning the RV. We got really nice movement on the tow bar. Very fluid, very easy. And there we go. All right, a little quick clip of us uh, disconnecting the car. I've put the car in park, it's the first thing I do. Then um, replace the pin on the breakaway cable. Then uh, do the electrical cable. Um, that hasn't changed. And then comes the part that's gotten even easier with the new tow bar is just releasing the, um, the levers with one finger. Um, this was my first time doing it with a new bar. I didn't believe it, so I pulled it a couple times. And then do safety cables, locking pins. So I'll speed it up here and uh, let you see the whole unhooking process. But I go through the safety cables with the quick links and then the locking pins. The locking pins is usually the, um, the part that can be the toughest because it just gets, they just get stuck after a while. They get all grimy, a little bit rusted. So sometimes I spray them with some T9, some silicon lube. Um, sometimes the quick links also get quite bound, so you can spray some liquid wrench on those. Um, here, now I'm doing the other locking uh, safety cable and then the locking pin. Right, and there we go, the bar is pretty much unhooked. Um, then it's just some tidying up and cleaning up, um, putting everything back in the bag. And then uh, stowing the bar as well. So put everything back towards the RV, letting it sit uh, to one side or the other, putting the bag back on, and uh, it doesn't get much easier. So that wraps up our video. Uh, we're sitting here by the Roadmaster tow bar. You can see it's covered in its nice little day cover. Um, and we've been towing with the bar for about four months now, I think and uh, we have nothing to report which is exactly what you want uh, basically zero issues zero problems it's super easy to use we love the new quick release uh, which is even easier than the old quick release and we love the fact that everything's integrated um, you know all the cables are threaded through so we like all that and uh, yeah i think uh, if you're looking at the roadmaster sterling i think you'll be happy so uh, see you down the road